Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today on a 47 person free for all battle here in the world. We're starting out in Europe as it's typically more of a weaker start or a better start because you're surrounded by a little bit more weaker players that you can kind of exploit. Uh, it really depends on, yeah, what this area develops like. We have a really good starting location for ourselves that hopefully we can snowball into something really good. Now, I'm playing as kind of a pseudo name today just to try and honestly get us a little bit more of an interesting game. I've run into kind of a problem of being a, a well-known figure in the, in the territorial community at this point. And either people try and help me win, which never really feels like a win, or they really try and make me lose. They go out of their way to try and make me lose, which is like, hey, all is fair in love and war. But at the end of the day, I kind of want to rekindle a little bit more interesting matches where I don't have to kind of snowball my way to victory. I can potentially build alliances and work with people against the crown and stuff like that. So hopefully we're able to get that out today. So off to a good start. Have the crown already. Lots of room to expand. We do need to be pushing out pretty soon. Let's grab you, coffee. Oh, frick, you just turned. There's a good one. You and you. That's, oh, you were good. There, there. We just keep being aggressive here. We're wasting a little bit of troops here and there, but nothing too major. There we go. That's a good one. You keep fooling me, bot. That one didn't. There we go. Pushing to you. So we've lost the crown. Not to be worried, we still have a lot of access to land. We're already getting attacked, brother. Relax. We'll finish up you, and then you. Maybe not you, you though. And grab the rest of this spot. Okay, let's try and get some alliances out there, see who's interested. Uh, you. Oh, you're going down right away. Never mind. We'll just join in on this. I like having you over here. You're going to be a nice buffer state for me as I can push aggressively over here for a lot of land. Finish up the rest of this guy too. Wonderful. Off to a good start. Not nearly as many troops as we would like. A lot of players got off to a really good start though. This is a really strong start in South America. So we're going to have to find some ways to push out. And we're going to have to do it rather quickly. I'm going into him. Yeah, I agree. Give me a bigger attack though. Let's push all the way over. There we go. We got a little bit of access. We just need to maintain that to get over here. And I want to attack this guy as soon as we can, too. There we go. Big attack here. Keep the pressure up. We'll try and maximize our margins, if you will. Give me over here. Yeah, so good returns on that front. Now, we do border the crown, but we have a lot more troops than he does, which means we could attack him right away. He's got such an advantage. I don't see how we don't. Brother, let's go into here. Alliance. We gotta do this. We gotta do this, come on. Join in with me. He's over attacking. He's way over attacking. There's no reason that anybody shouldn't be attacking. Yeah, I think you attacked me. Let's get this down. While we're at it. No, URSS seems to be pretty content with letting me do this, probably to my own doom at this point. This is actually kind of scary. Uh, player 878 is also boating over here, and we are getting attacked by in the back. Oh, I was really hoping the Asia players would keep themselves in counterbalance, but I looked at the troops and be like, yeah, it makes sense that we're getting attacked. The only thing that might save us is that URSS probably still wants to go into Brazil, or should at the very least. Other than that, we just kind of have to wait and see what's going to develop as we just need to build up troops. Fortunately, we have we weren't double attacked by us. Uh, so the uh, the player, the black player, I'm not sure what his name is. I'm afraid if I say it, it's going to be a bad word. <laughs> hey, there's URSS coming to life way too late. He honestly could have had all this land to himself, but we're actually pretty close to our red interest. So somewhat able to recover off this one. So let's just go ahead and claim what we can in North Africa for ourselves. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, we, we just keep pushing for all this and we get all of it, wonderful. And we're at red interest again. Hey, okay, let's go into this small guy. Knock him down as well. Now, URSS is the crown. The yellow player still has a border over there, a little bit of a boat. Who's boating over? Oh, no, no, 878's resending his boat back to his land. Okay, he's got land over on URSS if he wants to attack, but 
he doesn't seem to be inclined to do that, so I'm, I'm not inclined to help him. You are going down really heavily on your troops, sir. You would might be a good target. Um, you want to do that? I was just thinking about that. Let's do it. Let's get an alliance. I think this would work out really nicely, and we can get a little bit of payback here. So we're the biggest here. Well, let's go ahead and launch the attack. Yeah, and uh, see if anybody else wants to join. If uh, I think the I think our buddy did join in on that one. I might have missed his attack. Yeah, there we go. That's wonderful. It'd be nice if there was like a little bit more of a visual clue when people were attacking or visual sign like, you know, borders flash or something like that. But alas, we, we knocked this guy down pretty quickly and hey, we moved back up into the first place. So a little bit still dangerous as we have URSS and our uh, tap guy, we'll call him over in Eastern Asia. So we'll just quietly accumulate strength. What's your guys' plans? You're getting attack or attacking somebody, Mr. Tap. Oh, but player 878 is grabbing a lot of North America. That is scary. Um, Yeah, he's got the crown back and everything. Okay, let's go into you. Just grab this little bit of land for ourselves. And just try and stay competitive with the crown. No need to panic here. Especially as 878 is really over attacking. Hmm, is that lost, do you think? Or do you think I could get over there? Do you want to go into this guy, though? What do you think? This would be nice if we could just keep this alliance, though. I'm trying to play the end game, where I really feel like I have an... You know what? Let's just go over. Uh, <laughs> have an alliance, but at the end of the day, it it I think we just we have to be a counterbalance to 878, and getting over here at the very least will be nice. He's getting attacked down south. That's really good for us. Now this will put us in a position where we have all three of the strongest players remaining, bordering us, assuming that we're able to take out this red player before we get kind of stabbed in the back. So we're going to have to play this one uh, well. Thank God we were able to get, not get kicked off there. That would have been a long journey back. Probably should have anticipated that. But hey, we get a good chunk of land. We can get most of Greenland. And we're still maintaining land with the crown. He's only got 5 million troops left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me this one too. And we just keep pushing for all this land. Good. We have the crown now. You only have 3 million troops. Ooh, 2 million. This is the time to strike. We got to go in. This is going to be a, a tough end game if we can't maintain our alliances. Or it doesn't look like anybody's willing to do anything. URSS and TAP are both sitting at max interest, which is awfully scary for us. We have a lot more troops than Android user 777 does, though. So let's push for this. And I think the best strategy is just going into Android user right away. If we, he is the best person we have of knocking down before they get involved in a fight. And if we left him around, he would become a real threat. We have a slight chance of knocking him off South America, and I'm going to really push for this, especially as URSS is looking to go into the uh, Korean player over there. That is a godsend. He's also boating down here. Wow. Okay. That's really good for us that those two are ignoring us, and we can just grab this little bit of land <laughs> over here. Just keep going. Make sure that you can't come back. And honestly, let's just go down south too. I was thinking about playing defense on South America, but... No, no, no. We can get a little bit left. It will give South America a little bit more land, but we're at 47% land occupation. We could just finish him off here and assure the win, but I think let's play for the alliance. We're at 49%. No, no, no. We've won this. We've won this. We're at red interest, 49%. We can get to 50, and that will be the end of that one. We can peace out with our friends rather than having to attack them. Even though URSS did kind of leave me out in the cold <laughs> with Brazil with that fight. That almost cost us the game, but I'm more than happy to uh, walk away at, at the end of this one with just a bunch of friends. So we'll let URSS claim the rest of Antarctica. And if he wants to really try and go against me, he can. I still will win just based off troop count. So we'll give the claps a good sportsmanship here. Let everybody know that we're going for a piece. And we'll hold off using a kissy face for right now until everybody agrees to the piece here. We'll wait for that to pop up. And then we'll see if everyone's aligned with us or if we need to do a little bit of hunting at the end of the day. And right now, I mean, nobody's going against us, so that's good. Just get that piece up there. Hey, there's the piece. See if we vote for it. Yeah, there we go. GG's to all involved. Now we'll give the Claps good sportsmanship, kissy face for the boys, and we'll go on to the next game. All right, next game up is gonna be a teams battle here in North America. We are, have some Corgi boys with us. We have six in total, including ourselves. Blacksmith's here. We uh, just played a game with him. He made me lose. <laughs> 
But hey, excited to have them on our team for this one. So strategy is definitely going to be capturing the north and then pushing out, donating to whatever teammate uh, probably is going to be on this front line that we can get. We might be able to push out a little bit ourselves, go over into the Canadian islands over into the east, but we'll kind of keep an eye on that. If Blacksmith is in a great position, I'm obviously going to prioritize uh, him and uh, his success. Is that him right there? That is him right there. Okay. So we'll see how well we can do. This person's not quite moving yet. So that is a little bit concerning. But at the same time, it gives us more land. So I'm not exactly complaining. Other than that, position's looking pretty strong. Let's go ahead and get ready for our infinite growth phase here. Start actually right now. We've got plenty of room, plenty of time. And honestly, the quicker we get moving on this, the quicker we can fight down France. Yeah, because he, our person's been overtaken. And France does have the crown. We'll worry about him in a bit. Let's go ahead and fight these bots. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these green bots only have two targets to attack, and they've chosen to attack me, which is unfortunate. But we have the crown. We're maintaining a good amount of troops. There. Attack you. There we go. And finish up this bot. Okay. So great positioning for us to start off with. And let's go ahead and just keep pushing over past our bot. Just make sure that we have as much holdings as we can possibly get. Yeah, because France is going to be a threat. For sure. You're probably in the near future. Let's vote over here. Just to get a little bit of a foothold. But I do want to push back. Yeah, you're going back. I'm going back too. I'm with you. We'll push down this guy. Now we do need to be a little bit cautious. Blacksmith's cutting us off. Brother. <laughs> there we go. Full send. Okay, good. Land. Get me down here. And in here. Just a little foothold again. And now we hold. We build up troops and we hold. We're in second place. iOS users in first place, but he's got a uh, precarious situation surrounded by a lot of enemies. So we just build up our troops. Oh, full send. Oh, so happy we got down there in time. That was very good for us. Very, very good. And honestly, what's pushing to you? We'll be a little bit on the aggressive side here. Oh, Corgi player. Good job. Oh, hello. You don't have any troops either. What's pushing to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just start knocking down people. Black team's in a great position. We still have the crown, but player's right behind us in second place. Is this a bot or a player? That's a player. Okay, we'll slow our game down a little bit because we're already winning. We're already winning by a substantial margin. The only thing we can really do here is over push and lose. So let's just be patient here, build up our, to our red interest, and then kind of evaluate what the board looks like. Now, the southern part is very divided, but we're very united over here, which is great. I can definitely handle the blue team by myself over here, and hopefully the Corgi boys can all work together down south. Uh, it'd be a shame if we lost... Is this 857 over here? No, it's 227. Oh, you're weak. Sorry, brother. I was, I've was i been holding off thinking that you were somebody else. Yeah, we can get to Greenland now. Let's go ahead and just be a little bit aggressive here. And get me to Greenland as soon as we possibly can. There we go. A lot more landmass. Wait, didn't get the boat off. There we go. So we're in a good position. Very good position. Especially with that white player gone. It solidified our borders a lot more. Give me here just so you can't knock me off. There we go. Push into you. And now we're in a very, very dominant position. So all we really need to do is push down south. And we are going to win the game. So let's uh, get down here. Hey, GG's brother. Nice to play against you. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to quite happen. The alliance that you're looking for. Because we have a border down here, so it's going to be much harder for him to knock us off. So I want to start moving my way down south. Let's get ready for that boat. Big attack. And if he full sends me, then my player, my teammate gets all the land. So it doesn't really matter. Yes, able to stay on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. Now his attacks mean nothing at this point. We just keep pushing through. We're at our red interest, essentially. There we go. 
And now we're in a great position. Over 60,000, so we're moving faster. Almost at our red interest once again. Finish up the rest of that. Get over here. We're getting attacked by Jaden. Doesn't really matter that much. We'll just hold the line. We have our troops. Now we go. And we'll just hit solo Jaden. The rest of the team doesn't really need to do too much. We are getting actually donated to everyone. Everyone's donating to us. Yeah, 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 Alex, we are strong. We are strong, Alex. Oh, there's my strong. Yeah, strong. <laughs> Push through the rest of you. Now, Roma is attacking me, which is fine. We'll, we'll, it'll take a moment before our player 877 is also there. And we'll knock down you, and then we'll go through Rome together. So just keep pushing down south. Wait, you know what? I was just about to say we should leave them. Wait for that to end. That's kind of what I was hope of hoping to avoid was Judge Dredd getting involved. But now we can fight down Roma really quickly. Without having to worry about Dredd. So it all works out in the end. Save up for red interest once again, just to make sure that when we touch Judge Red, we are at battle ready status. And we just keep pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're with me, 877. Let's go, brother. Push again. Eh. There we go. And you put up a valiant fight, but it's not gonna matter. Because we have we have we've got all the friends we need. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I didn't get cut off. A little bit over an attack, but the game's basically done. So not the most concerned with it. Especially as he only has 2 million troops. We just keep pushing through. He he full sent somebody. So there we go. Looks like we're going to give the crown to uh, 877. Perfectly happy with that. Never mind. We were able to sneak around there at the end. Just grab a little bit more for ourselves. We're still going. Keep going. Boat. Give me this. <laughs> I want the crown. <laughs> hey, there we go. GG's, boys. Well done. Well done to everybody on this one. So that will do it for today. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you made this far in the video. If you have made this far in the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.